In this video, guys, we're going to investigate trading Trump's tweets. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. All right, so this could be replaced with Trump or anything else. I think Twitter seems to be the latest communication tool for a lot of people, but specifically Donald Trump. President of the US seems to be using it as a way to communicate big kind of plans and ideas. Specifically, the other day he was talking about trade deals with China. Tariffs, he talked on one hand about positive things about how the trade talks were going. On the other side of it, now he's put up tariffs in, retali in retaliation to something the Chinese had said. And this actually caused the market to plummet the second he put the tweet. So in other words, Actually, it was a funny day, to be honest. We had the Chinese that hammered the market, then uh, Fed had kind of lifted it up again, and then Trump had whacked it. It was almost like, you know, Chinese had jabbed the mark, jabbed bulls, uh, you know, Powell had, had helped the bulls back up, and then Donald Trump had uppercutted them right into the floor. But anyway, by, this, by the by, um, basically, as a tweet came out, like at this point here, prices sitting happily doing nothing, and then bang, and that was it. And the rest of the day was kind of carnage as well. And so, Yes, that might, this might be an exaggerated, uh, kind of unusual event. But the point is, guys, how can we capitalize from that? How can we make money from that? So the initial thing, obviously, is that if you're glued to the screen and you've got the Twitter on, that's the easiest kind of way of doing it, right? You just make sure you've got Twitter on and your screen, you're aware of what's happening. It's the key. I've always said that the key to um kind of understanding stuff without going too depth about news and economics is to know what the market's engine is there's always an engine that's driving the market and so understanding that hey at the moment like when i'm talking about this video the engine is this trade war with china or potential trade war with china the tariffs the deal the communications that stuff that is driving it as well as other things but that's the key thing we've had phases we've had all sorts of phases where it was yen we've had phases where it was gold we had phases where it was interest rates where it was a war where it was this where it was that. there's always something driving the, the market you know as, as i speak like gbp for example brexit is driving that brexit talks are driving that so there's always something so understanding what the engine is and then understanding broadly what's bullish and bearish sometimes it's not so uh, clear cut and if that's the case then stay clear if you've got to kind of analyze stuff then don't bother just wait until you have the move and then trade it from a pure normal perspective but if it's obvious like for example if Donald Trump comes out and says hey we're raising tariffs by 10% on goods you know that without much backstory, that's bad for the market. The market does not want to see that because then there's been retaliation from China, etc., etc. And so if you see that, you can take your short. Now, I want to say this, guys. Be very careful you're not thinking it's free money. Always take it as if it's a trigger within your existing setups. So your existing setup might well have, for example, let's say an intraday trader. Let's say you've got a 35 tick stop on the Dow. That's your kind of broad... Uh, stop loss point in which case you should just use the same parameters that you would use for this but this is just a trigger it's just a trigger like it would be you know kind of pullback or, or a kind of wick or a pin bar whatever you use use this as a trigger but keep the setup the same so have a plan and say hey well i'm still going to use my 35 tick stop or i'm going to broaden it and de decrease my size i'm still going to look for a level i'm still going to do still going to do that just don't use it as a free money thing just use it as a final trigger okay so if it's obviously bearish what are you doing you're pulling the trigger on the short side great now are you always sitting in front of the screen when it comes out no so what can you do the other way to do it is to have twitter on your phone set notifications for that specific person, in this case, Donald Trump. So I don't like many notifications on my phone. I just don't want to be frustrated or don't want to be so distracted, should I say, and actually it does equal frustration all the time unless I need to be. But this is useful. So if you're not on the screen, bang, you can see a tweet comes out. You can see if it's nonsense. If it's something that's useful, flick up your chart. And then if you need to come back, you might end up coming in here but at least you're gonna get involved with the price action afterwards. So at least that the, whilst the move might not be profitable for you, the fact that it's generated opportunity is worth it, right? Because you've not missed it, you've not come back later and you plan to come back here and you come back to your screen, you can get settled in and say, well, that's created opportunity. Thank you very much for that. But there is opportunity to, there is potential, should I say, to take trades based on the tweets. So if you do that, 
just make sure you've got a normal strict stop loss. Make sure you kind of got a broad understanding of what's bullish, what's bearish. And just be a little bit careful about it. You know, it's very easy to think that, oh, I've got an edge here because, you know, everyone's seeing the, t the tweet exactly the same time. All I've got to do is hit it and join that. And if I can make a hundred ticks, you know, I'm going to be, and, and it's tempting, but you've still got to be careful, be cautious, see what's happening, see the price action. If it's momentum, then have it as a momentum play on its own. Maybe you wait for the little pause before the continuation. So perhaps you wait for the pause and use it as a catalyst. So the catalyst, Catalyst is the tweet, the setup, and then the actual uh, structure of the trade as well, rather than just blindly stabbing at it, because this could still, this could afford 200 points, but it could do this. Comes down, bounces 50 in 30 seconds before falling. If you're shorting it here with size, and you're getting stopped out at 50, you're gonna not be very pleased. So you've still got to be careful about how you're structuring it, but it can be useful. It can be an extra alert for you. Like I said, if you're using it from just for an opportunity perspective, and it also can kind of give you a heads up, hey, this is happening, this is going, I'm prepared for it. But preparation is the key. Don't shoot for it on the fly, don't shoot from the hip, don't trade on the fly on any particular, on any size you want. Define your size, define what you want to get in. If you see the tweet and if you see the price action, so you see a tweet you think is negative, you see price action is negative, what do I need to look for? Do I need to look for that? Do I need to look for an X point pullback? Do I need to look for this? What's that? And then take it within the parameters. If you do that, at least you're staying safe, but you're using it as a potential opportunity. All right, guys, take care, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.